Hey folks, in this video I show you how you can integrate Lighthouse in your Playwright suite. You can also uh, learn how you can uh, create a custom expect method to check if uh, the third shot of uh, Lighthouse expect uh, your, your needed. But don't waste time man, let's jump in it! First of all, you have to install the Lighthouse NPM package. So uh, an e uh, lighthouse and uh, after that you have uh, the lighthouse package in your uh, project okay to integrate lighthouse in your playwright suite you have to import lighthouse and then i also create a lighthouse categories uh, that is an object with five properties performance accessibility best practice co and pvr, PVR. Uh, where you can uh, set the threshold for your uh, for your categories. I also created a default uh, threshold, so if you don't want to pass a, a custom um, threshold, you can use the default. In this case, uh, the value for each uh, property is 0 0.9. And now it's time to see how we can create a custom fixture to use a Lighthouse in our uh, Playwright uh, suite. To create the Lighthouse uh, fixture, we have to uh, get the, uh, the base test uh, uh, exposed by a playwright and extend it with a new function, in this case the Lighthouse function. This function accepts a page and uh, some option that is used by playwright to check uh, the, the result. Then we have to implement this Lighthouse uh, fixture and the Lighthouse fixture, fixture is an async function and uh, inside of this function we can create a load Lighthouse function. This function has the same, um, the same signature of the, of the Lighthouse um, types put in the extended type. And, uh, First of all, we have to check which is the threshold for the Lighthouse. In this case, we check if the option uh, threshold is uh, defined, otherwise we can put the default threshold for, for this test. Then we have to get all the categories. It's important because Lighthouse is able to uh, run uh, the, the check for all the categories, in this case performance, accessibility, best practice, CO, and PV, PWA. Uh, but we can also uh, send uh, only specific category. In this case, uh, this, uh, the, the, the threshold could be partial, so we can pass performance and accessibility, and uh, maybe we don't want a result for best practice, CO and PWA, PWA, for instance. So we can check which is the right category for the test, and we pass it to Lighthouse. Then we have to call Lighthouse in this case with the page.url. So Lighthouse is able to connect to this page to, this page to check uh, the, the data, the port where uh, Lighthouse can uh, use for the debug, the log level in this case is info, and uh, the categories to check in this case all the category passed by the, by the user. This, uh, this runner result could be undefined. If uh, it, it's uh, undefined, we can raise an error. In this case, Lighthouse failed to run. After that, if the result is uh, it's not, it's defined, we can check the result. In the run result lhr.categories, we can get all the categories with the score. In this case, as you can notice, the categories is an object with a string, and string is, the, the key is the category, and result category is an object with another property called score that indicates the score of the category in this case. Then using a reduce, we can create our custom lighthouse categories, and we can use, uh, for instance, the if to check if the, uh, if the category exists in our threshold, and uh, if it doesn't exist, we can return the accumulator without any problem. Otherwise, we can get the category we, uh, and we add uh, the, the score to our accumulator and we can return it. Other, uh, last but not least, we can use the, the two match threshold. This is a custom function created 
in, uh, in the project to check if the categories score is uh, like expected by the user. In this case, uh, maybe the performance is, uh, um, I don't know, uh, 90% and so on. And then we have to return the await user uh, load lighthouse uh, function to uh, register the, the fixture in this case. Now it's time to see how we can uh, create a custom uh, expected function, in this case the two match uh, threshold. To create a custom expect uh, method, we have to extend the expect uh, exposed by playwright in this case. Using expect.extend we can add a new method, in this case the two match threshold. In this case the two, uh, the two match threshold accept two, uh, two parameters, the received and the expected. Uh, both are lighthouse categories in this case and we have to check if the, the receiver is uh, uh, greater than or e uh, the value of the, the received is greater than or equals to the expected. In this case, we can use it, uh, we can create it using an object uh, entries. This object entries uh, with the expected, it's able to get the category and the threshold. And we can check in the received object if the category uh, is uh, has the, the score equals or uh, um, greater than the, the threshold in this case. Then if uh, every of this category uh, has the, the score greater than or equals to the threshold, the test is passed. So if uh, it's passed, we have to pass uh, to return a custom uh, an object with uh, a true property, the message and the pass. Pass in this case uh, must be true and uh, in this case we have to pass uh, a message and this message is a function that accepts uh, zero, zero parameter but to return a, in this case a simple uh, string expected and uh, the, the, the expected value and received the expected received value. Otherwise if the, the um, the pass uh, field is uh, false, we have to return uh, the object with the pass um, property uh, with the false value and in the message we have to pass the difference between uh, the, the two, uh, the two, the, the two objects in this case. Then, last but not the least, if you work with uh, TypeScript, you have to uh, integrate these uh, two match threshold to uh, the type system. To do that, you have to uh, declare the global uh, namespace and in the, in the playwright test namespace, in the interface matcher, RNT, you have to uh, add this, um, this uh, two match uh, uh, threshold that uh, uh, receive uh, a, a lighthouse category and return uh, the matcher in this case. Using this, uh, using this uh, you are able to use the two match threshold also in uh, your TypeScript code. Now it's time to see how we can use this uh, fixture. So we have to create a new test. In this case, the test is check load page performance. And we have to get a base URL, browser name, playwright object, and the lighthouse fixture in this case. First of all, we have to check if the browser name is different from Chromium. We can skip the, the test because lighthouse work only with Chromium in this case. Then we have to create a custom browser uh, for Chromium. And uh, to do that, we have to uh, use uh, the playwright object and we can pass, uh, in this case, uh, Chromium because we want a Chromium uh, launcher. And then we want to add uh, some uh, arguments for the launch of this browser. And we want to use this uh, remote debug import to 9922 uh, 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 port because uh, this port is used by Lighthouse to get the uh, info from, uh, from, the from the browser to get the, the result. After that, we have to create a new page using uh, browser.newPage. And uh, when uh, the page is ready, we can navigate to the base rule, in this case, uh, the, 
the the slash the, the slash of the base rule of the, the application then it's time to use uh, the our lighthouse fixture as you can notice it's pretty simple we can use a weight lighthouse this is the fixture and uh, the page and the option in this case the page is the page created by the test and the threshold in this case is pay, uh, performance with the threshold uh, 0.9 the best practice with the threshold 0.9 and the seal with the threshold 0.9 and uh, and that's all now uh, lighthouse run the code c uh, before and uh, uh, if uh, something went wrong with uh, the threshold uh, return the expected um, with uh, the difference between the expected and the result after that we have to close the page and uh, in the finally we can close the, the browser so now it's time to see the result in uh, in the terminal to check the result we can use the playwright ui mode so nx playwright test dash dash ui this uh, this open a new windows we can open it and in the lighthouse section we can for instance run the lighthouse uh, test as you can notice uh, the application start to run the test and uh, after a while we get the result in um, in our in our view as you can notice in this case uh, expected uh, the best practice is uh, more than uh, uh, 0 0.9 and received one so this in this case best practice is perfect performance must be uh, more than 0 0.9 but in this case is 0 0.6 so performance is not uh, uh, very good for for the application in this case and the seal is uh, 0 0.9 uh, and uh, it's okay because the, uh, the result of this year is 0 0.91 so the problem in this case is the performance in uh, in this in this case the application run with the uh, development mode so the performance for the bundle is not perfect but now it's time to see the result with the um, with uh, the building uh, with production mode to run the application in production mode, we can run in this case run and to and PRD because I create a custom uh, a custom um, script in this case the production uh, end to end uh, script run playwright with a custom playwright config with production. This uh, config is uh, is built in this way then before run the, the build and then run the preview so all the uh, bundle is uh, perfect for run in a real uh, production environment so now it's time to run and run end to end production dash dash ui this uh, this uh, script run again the, the playwright uh, uh, UI mode and we can go to the lighthouse section and run again the, um, the test as you can uh, as you can see in this uh, this time is the result is uh, perfect for uh, like expected by by the by the developer because uh, all the category match the threshold and uh, in this case uh, the test passed uh, like expected Okay, now I hope you have uh, an idea of how you can integrate a lighthouse in your Playwright suite and how you can create a custom expected uh, method for your uh, suite. I hope you enjoy this content and if you like it, please hit the like button below and if you want to stay updated with my content, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you soon. Bye bye.